One of the most common calls we receive, uh, but people don't realize how simple it is, is to adjust the outlet pressure on our regulators, the census regulators, 143s, 243s. So today I'm going to demonstrate how simple it is to adjust that uh, outlet pressure. Ensure that uh, your downstream equipment is capable of handling any increase in outlet pressure and ensure that you have a pressure gauge or manometer downstream to monitor your pressure as you are increasing your pressure. The pressure range should be stamped or otherwise note noted on the regulator. So be sure to note that before you try changing pressure. The tools we'll be using for the 143 is a screwdriver or a bolt head that is 7 16 in size. We've already removed the dust cap. The next step is to make sure that you have the proper spring uh, installed. So we're going to remove this <coughs> spring adjustment button. And we do indeed have a green spring here. The green spring will give us 6 inches to 14 inches of water column out. Okay. So we're going to reinstall that spring, make sure it is seated properly in the bottom, and <coughs> reinstall our <coughs> spring adjustment button. Now make sure that you properly reinstall this spring adjustment button. It is made out of plastic and it will strip easily, so make sure you do not cross thread it get it started. <clears throat> now at this point we're going to energize the regulator and you're going to see the manometer climb. So you can see we're currently running at about seven inches of water column. <clears throat> we're going to increase that to the top of the spring range, which is about 14 inches of water column. So you will see the manometer climb. Now as we're screwing in the adjustment button, you can see that the pressure is climbing. Now you can see we are doing this under running conditions. You do not want to do this under static conditions. You will get a false reading of your outlet pressure. So make sure that you are under flowing conditions, okay? So now we're going to decrease the pressure again. We're going to back that button out and bring it down. And you can see how that is. As we stop the gas flow, you can see that you will climb just slightly <clears throat> and that will uh, give you your lock off and show you that the regulator is actually locking off uh, under static conditions and it is not venting. Those are the steps and procedure for adjusting your outlet pressure on a 143 regulator.